What's up guys, this your boy Jody Dean here, Mr. Hunting the Dead. Welcome back to another video. Guys, today I am at Osama Bin Laden's brother's $7 million mansion here in Orlando, Florida. This place has been abandoned for some time. It has a bad energy. It has a long history of popular people owning this. Uh, the, the creator of Tupperware, one of the founders of Jell-O, Bin Laden's brother Khalil. Now, Bin Laden's brother Khalil was cleared that he had nothing to do with the 9-11 attacks. However, being tied to Bin Laden, there's been a lot of stigma around this place and there's been a lot of urban explorers that have documented, whoa. There's been a lot of urban explorers that have documented some pretty cool stuff here. I'm here today to see if this place is haunted because that's what I do. Come on, let's go inside. Today I traveled hundreds of miles away just to come see the mansion that everybody's talking about. I wanna know if it's haunted or not. So many urban explorers have witnessed things here at this home. Today, hunting the dead goes inside, ladies and gentlemen. It's time. So here's the mansion and here's the guest house. We're gonna go ahead and check this one out first. I wanted to do this place at night, however, I don't know the area good enough and I want to make sure I'm able to see my surroundings. Holy shit, I didn't even bump it, bro. Somebody just said something. Whoa. Okay, it's just the wind. Still sounding creepy. Hello? My name's Jody. I'm here looking. I'm here looking for spiritual activity. I'd like to communicate with you if you are here. Just felt like something grabbed my ankle. That's been happening on some of these investigations lately. I've been getting grabbed, touched, scratched. There's another structure right there. I think that's the barn that people have told me about. just hanging down bro you know what's crazy is there's not any known haunting history of this place however I feel like anywhere there's bad energy things just gravitate to it it's like a magnet for the spiritual beings that walk this earth okay I'm confused it looks like there is an upstairs however I couldn't get to it in there been a stairwell or something outside of this place that I just didn't see that's where I just was right yeah okay. this is actually pretty scary most of the people I see that have done this place 
they've had a friend with them or a group. Oh, there it is. And I'm out here by myself in the middle of nowhere. Damn, even the stairs look creepy. Look at all this Spanish moss. Probably just freaking myself out. Hello? Looks like somebody splooged all over the floor. Hello? Hello? Dude, I just heard a voice come from this fucking room. Dude, it's crazy to know that right now I am in Ben Laden's brother's mansion, ex-mansion. This place has tons of great views and I haven't even made it, made it to the main event yet. Just think that's where Ben's brother was sleeping, right there. I believe the master bedroom is just right there upstairs. But check out this view, even for the guests that would have stayed here. It's quite lovely. All right, so far I'm actually feeling something in here. Now I don't know if it's me, I just have spirits following me everywhere I go, but I do feel like something kinda just worked its way towards me once I said, hey, I'm here to communicate with the dead. I just heard something out there. All right, let's go ahead and work our way to the main house. are very short. Now hopefully we're able to get in here. I've seen that Steve Ronan and a few other people have been in here. bullet shot. I want to do some heavy duty paranormal investigating in in this thing right here. There hasn't been anybody that said this place is haunted. Oh, that one's not open. I believe everywhere is haunted. Oh. Nope. Look at this cool light right here.
is that sound? Holy shit. Look at this little Hulk green pool they got right here. Ugh, might be a gator in that thing. So I messed the grill up pretty good. Here's how they were getting in. Oh my God. <gasps> Hello? Hello? I thought maybe that was a real person, but we may have just caught something spiritual. somebody did something like that bro just to get in here that's not cool if it would have been locked up I just would have went on about my business I don't believe in vandalizing stuff okay so just walking in to the guest house I heard some voices just walking in here I just heard something again I better make sure I'm alone in here guys first and then we'll start doing some investigating Hello? Definitely feel like I'm not alone in here. Oh shit, I didn't know there was a basement. That's creepy. Looks like somebody might have, I don't know. You guys think that's a bullet shot or not? Coolest thing about this place is all these different views you got. Oh yeah, I seen that in Steve's video. This toaster that just kind of pulls out on the side. How cool is that? I've never seen nothing like that. I'm not that rich. <laughs> like a little secret compartment. Makes you wonder if they like stashed money up here and whenever they left, they just broke it to get all their shit out. Oh. It's kind of low, I could hit my head on that. Oh my God. Hello? I keep hearing somebody speaking. Maybe we do have something paranormal here, guys. This might not be that hard. Once I clear the place, I'll definitely uh, break out some gadgets and that's when we turn shit up a notch. Coming up. Don't mean no harm. Not here to cause any trouble. Heck 
is that? It's like a vapor or something. I bet people have been in here looking for like money and stuff. Let's see if I can squeeze through this. Probably just a bunch of vandals did these windows. Hello? Sound like somebody was walking. It's easy to get nervous in these places when you're by yourself and, and you're doing something with such a energy and history uh, attached to it. I'm really surprised that there's not homeless people squatting up inside this seven million dollar home. There's nothing saying you can't be homeless in style. So you gotta wonder how Bin Laden's brother and his family felt when the 9-11 attacks happened and they were here Supposedly, they were getting death threats, things were happening. You know, there could have been people coming by, um, shooting, throwing stuff, sending them stuff, calling them, mailing them. I don't really know what they went through. However, they did say that it was getting pretty rough. So they just kind of snuck out of here, hopped on a jet and headed to where, you know, and headed to wherever and just left this place behind. It's a crazy thing saying that somebody just left behind a $7 million mansion. Must be nice. Whoa. I love this. This is one of my favorite things about this place. This balcony right here I'd be hanging out on this every day and maybe they did maybe we're standing in the exact spot that Ben's brother Khalil would have been standing sitting talking to Ben on the phone I don't know if they were close or you know I don't know much about their family history but I really felt like there was going to be something back here. What the hell is this? Some of their old hangers. Surprised nobody's grabbed these hangers and tried to sell them on eBay. Whoa. Just like kind of walk out here and, and sit, I guess. <laughs> I don't know why anybody would, but that's weird they didn't close that off. Okay, now that's the place where I would spend most of my time. She's... is that is that like some kind of witchcraft symbol 
I heard something right over here, and then I just noticed this. Can't wait to break out some of these gadgets. We've definitely caught a few voices, I think, so far. Damn, this is nice. Alicia would never want to leave this. Oh my lord, and this view, wow, you could have some good times right here. That's all I'm gonna say. Look at that dragonfly that's, <laughs> looks like it's fossilized, it's huge. So, so far, I'll say this. I think we're capturing some stuff, guys. Wouldn't that be crazy if we document paranormal activity happening at Bin Laden's brother's mansion. Just sound like a car drove up, but it's absolutely impossible for that to happen. Oh, jump inspired. Okay guys, I've connected the Necrophonic app, which is a real-time spirit box, to my Bluetooth speaker. We're gonna go ahead and start our investigation now. I'm here to communicate with the paranormal. I'm here to communicate with spirits today inside this mansion. Can you tell me, is there anything haunting here and why? <laughs> Sound, sounded like the first response was yes, and then I heard demon. Is there a demon here? <laughs> vicious. I heard vicious. If you are here, why are you here? Have people done witchcraft here? Have people tried to summon and conjure something here in this home? <clears throat> what have they tried to conjure? So far, there is some pretty incredible responses coming through the Spirit app. This is awesome, man. I've never heard any of these responses before, and some of these voices are, I don't know, there's just like an energy to them. When they speak, you actually feel something, like it's really here talking to you. Did something bad happen here on this property where somebody may have been hurt, murdered, or, or, or had a natural death even? What? died. If you're here, where are you standing right now? Stare. And I think it just said stare. Wow. Are you standing right by me? It did just get cold. I 
think I just heard cursed. Is this property cursed? Just heard something down there. Hold on. Somebody in here? It's funny, I just heard somebody in here and then all of a sudden there's like little, just like that, there's little sounds happening now. Whoa, what the fuck? Dude, this is crazy. Listen. Bro, there is something here. Can you tell me, was that just you walking down and that made those noises here at the end of the hallway? What is the name of Osama bin Laden's brother who lived here? Say Chris. I believe it's pronounced Khalil. I might be wrong. Is bin Laden's spirit here? Is Ben is Ben Laden dead? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and switch to a different device and move to another part of the home. Okay guys, so I just moved over to another part of the house where I first walked in and I noticed these candles on the top of the fireplace in this little bit right here that melted down and, and, and right here, here's one. I wonder if this was Bin Laden's brother's family's candles or if like, young conjurers came here and brought those but i'm putting the speaker right here where i seen that so we're going to go ahead and switch to the spirit talker now a little bit different of an app um, they can use the database uh, that basically a dictionary base of words to project what they want on the screen and there's even a ai voice that will speak it so Where did that horn come from? Okay, all right, maybe, maybe it's okay. Here we go. Did something happen here with the summoning of spirits or even demons?
Yes. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm, I'm trying to get this done. All right. All right. I feel like something happened here. Am I right? Did you hear me? Wow. Yes, I've heard you several times, I believe, if it's the same one that I've been hearing ever since I went in over there. What's your name? Tell me your name and, and where you're at right now, please. Or, or tell me anything, tell me your story. Crime. Oh my God. Okay, that's not what you want to hear, but I mean, I said bad energy and it, and it makes me wonder what comes along with bad energy. I think we all know. Uh, did you hear me? Crime. What else can you tell me? Did crime happen here? It's not like somebody's screaming to death, but it might just be a bird. Some animals do make these weird noises that bounce off the walls when you're in these places. Of course. Yo, what? Of course. Agreeing with what I said about the birds or, or something bad happened here? I'm assuming that's what you're agreeing to, that something bad happened here. I want to know in the comment section below, would you guys come to a place like this by yourself? In Ryan. The... Ryan. Was Ryan hurt here? Am I speaking to Ryan? Was Ryan conjured here, summoned here? There obviously was some kind of shelf here above this fireplace. It makes me wonder if somebody tore it down thinking that maybe they hid something behind it. Look at this ceiling, guys. Oh my God. It's gorgeous. It's a lovely home. This would have been hard for me to leave. Ryan, or whoever I'm speaking to, can you tell me where you're at? Tom. Tom, Ryan, we almost got the whole family here. Who is Tom? We're getting some responses, man. It's a little slow, but it's happening. Another candle on the floor right there. More hangers. Tell me something else, please. 
You have nothing to lose by speaking to me. I have a platform of people that I will be sharing this with. So if anything, it gives you a platform that people will be able to hear you speak on, even from the other side. Protection. Protection. Were the candles for protection? Or should I have protection? Are you warning me right now? What's that? Yeah, there's candle drippings right there. Maybe somebody was doing some some spell workings or magic here, trying to conjure something. Protection, Tom, Ryan, of course, crime, did you hear me? All pretty relevant responses. Did Bin Laden's family do anything here that they shouldn't have? Hurt anybody? Is there a body on this property somewhere? Is it Tom? Is it Ryan? I know they're not done speaking. I can feel something here. That might be a wood. I'm pipe. very happy. I'm very happy. Well, that makes me happy. I, I don't want to believe that there's anything evil here or that somebody's not at peace. So I'm happy that you're happy and thank you for communicating with me. I have another device I'm going to use in a moment. I'm just gonna kinda let you see what you like better. Will you continue communication with me please? voice speak from over there and then I heard that sound outside I don't know if that was a bird though again it's scary here it's scary here yes it is it is very scary here I do this for a living I've been doing this for a long time so I'm kind of immune to the scary it excites me stomach problems Stomach problems. Maybe we got a natural death here. Did you die from stomach problems or? Did you have stomach cancer maybe? That's quite the response. I've never seen anything like that come across the Spirit Talker before. This app is so great guys. I, I love this thing. about to say is there something in the basement you understand this form of communication I'm guessing maybe other people have been here and done it with you and I just don't know about it Some more candles okay guys I had to dig my light out I want to at least peek down here, just so you guys can see how dark this is, okay? I mean, it's not terrible, but... 
Hello? Hello? Is that? Is that like a fucking incinerator for like cremations? Ugh. Yeah, Reeks, I want to get out of here, dude. It stinks bad. And that felt like it was going to collapse on me, too. Okay guys, now we are turning on the Ovulus, uh, another device, it's one of my favorites as far as spirit communication goes, it just seems like it's so helpful to them. Sometimes it pours through, sometimes we only get a few, so gotta be patient. Would you like to continue talking to me, whatever's here? miss what do you miss you miss company in this home you miss being alive Tell me what you miss. Would you like me to leave? Or do you enjoy me being here? I feel like when I was on this stair. Bell. Walk. Okay, there it goes. Minute. Bell. Walk. Was that just you?
Is there somewhere I could do what I'm doing here right now that would allow us to have better communication? Like maybe the guest house or somewhere on the property? Okay, I just did the ovulus for about 10 minutes and it was really pretty, pretty much dead. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move to the guest house right now and see if we have any paranormal experiences over there. I did hear some voices just walking into that place. Um, so it's gonna be interesting. Wherever, wherever we go here on this property, if there's spirits here, they're gonna, they're gonna come to us. They're gonna hear us, they're gonna see us and, and they're gonna communicate most likely. All right, I wanna do something different here. I would like for you to make noises in communication with me. So, if you tap one time for yes, two times for no, I'll document it. I'll ask you questions and just give me yes or no answers. And we can have a whole conversation. Are you aware? that you are a spirit, that you have died and that you are on the other side. Get a little bit closer, I just heard something. I don't know if that was what we want it to be or not. Did you just make a noise? Yes or no? That's it. That's it. That's exactly what we want. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Did you die here on this property? Did you die here on this property? Yes or no? for a second it's not like you or I where we can just you know open up our mouth and speak okay that could just be the wind blowing through some of these holes and, and I think that was our response right there. Did somebody from the Bin Laden family harm you? Yes or no? That was two, that was two right there, that's a no. Wow, dude, come on, oh my God. Dude, I've got the chills right now, son. I got the chills, bro. I'm gonna go ahead and go back here real quick. Feel like the sounds were coming from right here. Just like that, bro. I've done this before with spirits where I asked them yes and no questions and asked them to do this. And you'd be surprised at how often it works and I do get responses. Okay, this place is amping up, dude. This is amping up. I might have to break out 
the Necrophonic app and use that over here. That's what we were using on the stairwell when we first started out over there. And we were getting some incredible, incredible responses. Okay guys, we're hooked up and we're going to continue with the Necro. I'd like to continue communication once again with you. You've done very good at communicating with me this so far. I don't feel like there's anything evil here. I don't feel any darkness, which honestly, I felt like I was gonna find that here. Is that here? Is that holding you back from crossing over or going to heaven or wherever you want to be? What kind of things are here? Can you tell me that, please? Well, that sounded evil. I said nasty. Are there children spirits here? said get out okay all of a sudden it did feel like it just it just felt like it got a little bit heavier in here guys and I thought I just seen something I thought I just seen somebody walk on the other side of that tree over there That's one of the creepiest things here for me. It's not the spirits, it's, it's, it's real people showing up with bad intentions. We already know they like to vandalize. Have you seen bad things happen here? Help, help again. Can you say my name? You know, I don't feel as much here as I do at the main uh, house, the, the main mansion. So it makes me wonder, did something bad happen there? Is there some unresolved, um, unrested soul at this mansion from something that happened a long time ago? I'm gonna go back over there one more time and I think there's a few, Friggin' door, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. Let's make sure it's the door. The film on our way out of here. Listen, I just want to say if you did communicate with me here, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I uh, also would like to leave. Okay, it's just the door. Also would like to leave you with a prayer, if you don't mind. In Jesus' name I pray, God, I ask that you please wrap your godly hands around the spirit here or any spirits here. Bless them, be their light, bring them to the light. Help them cross over if that's what they like. Put them in touch with their families. Allow them to be wherever would make them happy in death. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. I think we actually touched base with something in there. 
I just don't think it's as active as this place. how beautiful this is they had a hell of a property the only thing I wouldn't have liked is living here during hurricane season I would imagine that would create some kind of issue hello again What the fuck was that? Get a grip, get a grip, it's fine, it's fine. That was crazy, dude. This is like something like came up on me and, and, and spoke in such a scary tone. It really freaked me out, bro. My heart's still racing. The fuck was that? Hello? Keep on checking the place thinking that somebody's come in. There's nobody in here. Dude, if this place is not haunted, it would blow my mind because I have documented so much and I've only been here for like three hours. Isn't that creep? Hello? 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 Bro. You've got to be kidding me. Hello? Dude, what the fuck? Bro, what's up? There's gotta be somebody in here, fuck with me. Hello? Dude, there is something fucking evil in here. If there's not something evil in here, I don't know what could do that, because usually everyday spirits don't do this. This is like pulp. That same voice that walked up on me earlier, I just heard it say something again. This is like poltergeist activity, guys. Something about that stairwell right there. Maybe it's not evil. Maybe it's just something playing with me. It's still going. Dude, this shit was freaky. 
freaky. I think I might have knocked a few minutes, hours, or maybe even years off my life with this one, guys. Scared the shit out of me many times. long way out of here this was a long hike to get to this look i didn't even make it to that barn over there i don't know if i can i just so you got the guest mansion you got the main mansion i say that's a guest mansion because that's a that's a huge place too uh that place right there is couple cardinals right there I don't know it's all active and really I mean this could be a two or three part video if I wanted it to I could uh, just stay here till it got dark do a nighttime invest on top of the daytime and uh, it's just so much you could do here you could do a full night investigation just at the one mansion I would recommend, uh, I'm not the smartest person. Uh, you shouldn't come to these kind of places by yourself. You know, it could be squatters here that could cause you trouble. I guess we'll check this out real quick. Um, it could be squatters. You know, you could fall into a hole or get bit by a snake. Even an alligator, you guys seen that, that water behind this place. It's pretty, pretty intense. my main concern for you guys would be like snakes or maybe one of the lot in showing up forgetting something they left here a long time ago there's tons of hornets and, and things so you could easily run into uh whoa ain't much to see here You could easily run into uh, a swarm of bees or something, you know, so. Is that the horse stables? They had horses too. Damn. They were doing it big. Had to be hard to leave all this though, because, I mean, wouldn't it for you? Can you imagine this uprooting and and going I mean you got to do what you got to do they were getting death threats and stuff even though they didn't have anything to do with it and they didn't know it was even happening uh, they still had to deal with consequence and stuff all right we got to be careful up here this is really where snakes could be some really nice stalls though concrete stalls you don't see that too often or I don't wow I'm gonna work my way out of here and work my way back to the main road I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cue the outro for you guys right now. Listen, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please smash that thumbs up, make sure you comment below, share this on social media. I post every other day, always a live chat, always a live premiere, 
always right here on the Hunting the Dead channel. Don't hesitate to become a member, become a patron today. Links are in the description below, as well as the links for HTD merchandise. Guys, I love you so much. I'll see you in a few days, but until then, sweet nightmares. Woke up in the dawn of the dead. Everything I see is bloody red. Last night I was getting head. Then I passed out taking meds. Silly. This that real shit, no penicillin